This summer was always going to be a ridiculously hard job for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer to rebuild Manchester United in one summer, but it may have just got that little bit more difficult thanks to Paul Pogba. Pogba has gone on record in an interview out in Japan where he's on tour with Adidas at the moment, saying that next season he's considering looking for a new challenge. So Pogba has pretty much gone as far as he can go without verbalising a transfer request. He wants to leave United. So not only this summer does Solskjaer have to rebuild United, he may well have to replace Paul Pogba as well. For me, on paper, United's best player. How can he do that in one summer? How can he make all these key signings and replace Pogba as well? I'm going to give my own opinion on the comments from Paul Pogba and where I stand on them. I want to hear what you have to say about them in the comments. And then we can look ahead towards if Pogba does leave, how could United replace him? I'm going to run through a few candidates there as well. Now, before we get into it, if you are new to United People's TV, make sure you subscribe down below, hit the notifications bell and get involved. If you're a regular, drop a like on the video. But let's dive straight into this one. Where else can we start apart from hearing from Paul Pogba himself? If you haven't heard what Pogba had to say, this is the interview. I mean, you know, I've been here for three years in Manchester. You know, it's been doing great and... Uh... There's some good moments and some bad moments, like everybody, like uh, every, everywhere else. But um, after this season and uh, after everything that happened this season, you know, with, uh, with uh, my season, when it was my best season as well. I think for me, uh, it could be, can be, a, can be a good time uh, to, to, to have a new challenge somewhere else. I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking of this to have a new challenge somewhere else. Yeah. So as you can see there, it's nothing disingenuous. It's nothing mistranslated. It's nothing ambiguous. It's dead straightforward. Paul Pogba there saying that he feels he's ready for a new challenge next season. And as I said, that's pretty much as far as he can go without properly handing in a transfer request. And for me, looking at these comments, it's straightforward on the surface. If a player doesn't want to beat United, sell him. It doesn't matter how good that player is, how important that player is, if he doesn't want to be at United, sell him and replace him. And the same goes for Paul Pogba. Now, United kept Cristiano Ronaldo for one more season after that incredible double winning season in 2007 and 8. And he was still good next season, but it just it wasn't that Cristiano Ronaldo that we saw the year before. And then he eventually joined Real Madrid. The same thing would happen with Paul Pogba next year. And I don't want any player at my football club that doesn't want to be there. And that much, it's straightforward. But whether you want to admit it or not, Paul Pogba is the best player we've got in this Manchester United squad. And I felt this summer was the opportunity to surround him with better quality players so we could see the sort of Pogba who was Europe's most informed player when Solskjaer came in as manager. And I didn't think United would sell him this summer. And judging from the response to these comments from Pogba, the club still has absolutely no intention of selling Paul Pogba this summer. So that can't be too much of a surprise to people. As I said, he's our best player. But if we do sell Pogba, this rebuild job that Solskjaer has, that was already very difficult this summer, becomes pretty much nigh on impossible. And yes, you can really question Paul Pogba's attitude, but Christ, you could do that with every single player in this United squad. It's a consequence of the circumstances of United at the moment that we're seeing this sort of Pogba coming out. I'm not saying it's all completely United's fault, sure. Pogba and certainly Menoreola are part of it as well. But it's a circumstance of how poorly run from top to bottom United is at the moment. And what the hell makes you think as a United fan that the club will sell Pogba and adequately replace him this summer? We've never properly replaced Ronaldo, Keane, Scholes, Gary Neville, Rio Ferdinand, Nemanja Vidic. What makes you think that all of a sudden this club is going to sell Paul Pogba, get 150 million odd, and then go and replace him completely. History tells us that United do not replace adequately. We replaced Ronaldo with Valencia and Obertan. We replaced Rooney. We haven't even probably replaced Rooney. We had Van Persie who came in and out. But United don't have a good history of selling their best players and replacing them properly. And that's the big fear I would have of Pogba leaving, because he is our best player. Would we replace him? I doubt it. Not properly, anyway. And I'd also be surprised, as a consequence of Pogba leaving, 
if David De Gea didn't all of a sudden gain a voice and start becoming vocal in his desire to leave United, because the whole way through De Gea has stayed silent, but Pop believing could change that and could set a dangerous precedent. And this is all, of course, a consequence of Ed Woodward and the way he has allowed player power to take over the culture of our club. And this is the fallout from it. And nothing's going to change that. And that's why I always feel that if a player wants to leave the club, let him leave. Don't let him dictate to you how his position at the club is. Don't let the tail wag the dog. But it has done at United for six years. And what we're seeing right now is the consequence of that. And as well as putting out a bad message to someone like De Gea, what sort of message is this going to put out to new signings, potential new signings? Herrera leaving because of poor communications between the club and him over his desire for more money. De Gea stalling over a new contract. United, arguably best player, certainly best goalkeeper. Paul Pogba leaving. What sort of picture does that paint to any new signings? Paul Pogba's comments have put United in between a rock and a hard place. On the one hand, I don't want a player at our club that doesn't want to be here, so sell him. On the other hand, I don't have any belief in my club to replace Pogba if we do sell him. So what do we do? I don't know. But let's be hypothetical here. If on paper United do sell Pogba, how could they spend that money on replacing him? As I said, I think Paul Pogba is worth 150 million. We paid 90 plus for him. In the inflation of the market since then has gone upwards massively. Barcelona paid upwards of 140 million for Coutinho. Pogba's more marketable and a better player than him. 150 million. That's what you've got to pay Real Madrid and Juventus if you want to sign him. And if we did sell him for 150 million, and if this was Football Manager 2019 rather than Man United 2019, how could we spend that money? I mean, it's quite simple on paper when you look at it. Because for 150 million, United could get a complete new midfield. With Bruno Fernandes there, the 24-year-old Sporting Lisbon playmaker who everybody wants. 50-plus goal contributions last season for Sporting Lisbon. He could come in and directly replace that sort of playmaking influence that Pogba always brought to the team when he was on form anyway. And as well as that, for 70 million, you could spend 50 million on bringing in Ruben Neves, the 22-year-old, again Portuguese, build a nice little bond there, one of the best defensive midfielders in the league. And you could get both of those players for the money you could sell Popper for, and you could still even get Yuri Tillemans on top for 150 million combined. Tillemans again, 22, Premier League proven, just like Ruben Neves is. Both of them excellent midfield signings in their own right. But Fernandez, Neves, and Tillemans, all for the price of Pogba, I'd snap your hand off for it. But I don't have the trust and belief in my club to go out and do that. And yes, it's difficult to complete signings and United have always got to pay a premium. And Ed Woodward is absolutely incompetent at transfers and certainly getting the right price for transfers. So nothing tells me that this solution here is going to happen. On paper, it seems damn simple. If Pobble doesn't want to be here, sell him, replace him, spend the money. But history of United and the history I've seen tells me that United will not adequately replace Pogba if he leaves. And therefore, selling your best player as part of a rebuild, it's not the smartest way to go about it, really, is it? Maybe Pogba won't be leaving United this summer. Maybe he's going to stay and United will stand firm. He'll do a U-turn. All of a sudden, things will be rosy. But maybe United will sell him. And maybe we will reinvest that money and properly replace him. Now, I want to know where you stand on this because it's going to be a lot on one side of the fence and I feel a lot on the other side of the fence as well because it's a difficult situation. Do you think United should sell Pogba? Or do you feel like United are incapable of properly replacing Paul Pogba? I want to know where you stand on this. So let me know in the comments below as always. And how would you reinvest that money, that 150 million? Who would you buy? Is it Neves? Is it Tillemans? Is it Fernandez? Or is it somebody completely different? Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. But Pogba certainly put the club between a rock and a hard place. And maybe we've seen the last of Pogba in the United shirt. Let me know what you think. Uh, before we finish, if you are new to United People's TV, make sure you subscribe and get involved. Until next time, though, take it easy.